Welcome to the uh, Space for Safe Out of War for Mission 4. Let's do this. Okay. Follow the Planet Campaign. Follow the Planet Campaign, Mission 4, Defence. In this mission, the guys defended the boards. They deployed force, and then as Chaos Player, I attacked. We're going to hand it over to Alan first to see what his thoughts are on it. Yeah, enjoyed myself tonight. Enjoyed it. Primary mission token. Okay, Cody, quick talk. Okay, well, <laughs> just quick talk. Quick what? talk. Bullshit. <laughs> Absolute horseshit. I'm not impressed with that at all. Okay, Carl. What's Carl's, that fun? Carl, quick, quick talk. Carl. Oh, I got fucking wiped out. Of course I fucking got. <laughs> I, Did you have fun? I enjoyed me. myself. I had you fun. <laughs> but I was targeted and I was wiped out. and So it was a lot of fun with people. Okay, yeah. I, I actually enjoyed the mission. I just didn't go as tall as I expected it to go. Eddie's swimming in on guys. That's that's all the guys I killed. Okay, back to me. Um, I enjoyed it. Nothing went as expected. Everything went wrong. All right, that's all I can say. What did it really go wrong though? I enjoyed I don't it. Think you can say it. Yeah. It, 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 it did go wrong for you. Yeah, it, it you went won. wrong. It went wrong for, for us. For you, but Very the planning planning was meant to be really even, and we got screwed. <laughs> Yeah, but, but we had fun. We had fun, yeah. I thought it was a few of them and rolls roll, roll, and yeah. He's right meant to get down near those other guys back from Cully's warp so <laughs> I, I do apologize when you see the video of me laughing, I do apologize, Cully. But it was so funny. Sure. It was very funny. But I'm so, still bitter. I will be bitter about it for the rest of my life. We we will get to that. We'll get your whole thoughts on that eventually. But okay, first of all, so hang on, hang on. Before we do anything, Garrett, Garrett brought up a few points. <laughs> that I think Carl. Yes, he did. That I think Carl can convey <coughs> before we get anywhere. So yeah. Whatever Garrett brought up, I think now is the time to, for Carl to deliver that to us. Uh, on the mission itself, Carl, then, what was it? I think. Garrett mentioned that uh, you had a bit too many forces. Okay, the whole idea of that, just to explain to you, was that they were there to for you to defend, not necessarily for you to attack them all and then retreat off when the time came to retreat. Yeah, just, just mention. You said you said to me earlier on. Sorry, I just wanted to get recorded. You said many points were left on the board when we were finished. Just so you saw, know, George, two hundred points left on the board when you finished. Two hundred. Okay. Yeah. All right. I scored two hundred points. The boys scored pretty close. Cully nearly won the game. To be right. honest, you're very close. Point. Only for a look at the end. All right. Oh, we will. We will yeah. get to that. <laughs> and um, um, oh, else was brought up. Sorry. Yeah, um, <coughs> well, Garrett had a few issues, um, mostly surrounding the yeah the amount of troops you had. Um, he wasn't happy that we went too late. Uh, it just went on a bit too long for him. Uh, he would have liked to be home a lot earlier. Uh, I don't think that was any anyone's fault. I, I don't think anyone could predict how long the missions were going to go. And um, when we hit the one o'clock mark, we realised shit. You know, this is gonna go on for fucking yeah. Over. Yeah. I did. In fact, uh, Garrett had to leave earlier, so Garrett had well, to. Well, let's. Be, he, he left one turn before he was off the board. So. Did he actually? I, I thought he actually retreated before. He no, he, 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 oh, Jed, yeah, he retreated. Jed made his last move, off but the he was he was clean off the board uh, just just after he left. Okay, so not to have any arguments or anything. He yeah. was straight off the board. All right. Well, well yeah. Yeah, yeah, he left a lot earlier than we all finished, so he, he's missed a few things, especially uh, the thing we're going to get to later with Cully. Uh, we won't get into that. Um, he missed that. I did, my, I did my best, Cully. did my best, man. Um, but it was impossible, literally. And um, It was unfortunate. <laughs> I guess uh, he, he was annoyed about the, uh, the backup he received as well at certain points. Um, he wasn't happy uh, being reinforced. Uh, he lost some life points that he thought he shouldn't have lost. Um, really? Yeah. yeah. You're going through his cards. Here, I'll just you know, show the camera card. What, what card is that? Okay, we're now so, have so. a look at people's thoughts on the mission structure. I'm going to start with Carl. Carl, how do you find the mission structure? The mission structure, okay. Uh, I actually really liked how the placement went. I really liked how we were able to place our guys at the start of the turn and uh, and be able to um, choose where they went. I, I thought that was a huge deviation from what we've normally done and uh, I, I really liked that kind of aspect of it. 
Um, the fact that the, the whole fucking force was coming towards us as well uh, really kind of had the tension. Like, yeah. they, I think that kind of worked really well. Like, yeah. uh, that's, and, that, was, that was the idea. I thought it was like, it was like yeah, a yeah. huge army running towards you. You just have to defend it. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and the console, I don't think the console served as much purpose as it probably should have. It should have, Because yeah. the Geostheaters were supposed to be locked by the door, and that was the kind of... We were kind of worried about that. But look, that was... That was the, the fucking... The dice rolls. Oh, yeah. Like, honest, he got the honestly, roll, though. We were He's playing that one. Look. Or, or M. Jesus with, was with Jared tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Geostheaters were locked in a room. The door had an armor value of five... I rolled two red dice and I scored a six. It's a one in twenty six chance of me scoring that and I don't on the fourth turn. I was really lucky and looked, uh, otherwise the console would have came into play. Yes, yeah, true, true. Yeah. So I think yeah, okay, the luck did play a part in that. Yeah. But um I think uh, if the Jesus hadn't been a threat for the whole mission, I think it might have even added a bit more attention. Yeah. The fact that they were like straight away unleashed on us, we were like <laughs> fuck. <laughs> To be honest, it freed up uh, Garrett and, uh, and mine, well, it freed up our commanders. Because I think we were playing the long game there. We were going to say, well, our commanders are going to stick by this door to make sure yeah, uh, they well, cannot get out. Well, I think when that happened, I thought you would be kind of held up with that for a bit. I get some of the aliens, marines, aliens, uh, mentors up the board. You were just there talking from near the start. Yeah, yeah, we did. We pressed. Yeah. Press on to maybe the third tile. What was it by round round five? Maybe we round were there. Four, yeah. four. four or five. Yeah, we were there. We were we were on top of Jay. Well, in general, I liked it. I liked the whole placement, the way we placed our raids. I thought it was a huge addition for what we normally do. I thought it was awesome. Um, you were unlucky with your placement. <laughs> my placement. Well, I placed them too far back, and I'll, I'll address that when it comes to how I felt I played. We will get to that special event um, on round ten. Can I just have a brief moment? Just say that was inspired. Special yes. event in round ten. We had a four tile game starting up in an L, uh, reverse L. Uh, it was the way we were we were running it. Mm-hmm. We all started on the tip of the reverse L. We had to move up and kind of defend the area. But on turn ten, uh, two more rooms joined the bottom tile, and there was two squads of Chaos Marines in there. And some reinforcements. Well, yeah, the dreadnought wasn't even there. It was just it was reinforcement uh, <coughs> zones there. Oh, right. And Jed brought in his Mark Ten, and that it was just in, it was absolutely inspired. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. It uh, it worked really well for the mission in general. It, Can I? It, it added a lot of attention, and um, so uh, I suppose my summary was um, the placement, the door was pretty good. Shame it didn't actually last long with it. Uh, it could have. I did like the actual change at the end, and uh, it ended up being. I love that kind of thing that Jet had. It made us all anticipate, like, what the fuck is those fucking stack of torn tokens there? And Jet had one torn over, two torns over, and we were wondering, what the hell happens when we reach? And it helped. Eddie, you can turn the camera over for this one. Eddie was there, you know, fucking conspiring with chaos. And you know, hinting at things that might happen, but at the end of the day, they may be just manipulating people. But um, I had a lot of fun. I, I got my entire squad wiped out, of course. We, we will talk about that when it comes to my own feelings of how my actual play went. But uh, that's the overall feel I felt for the mission. Had a lot of fun, fucking awesome. Love that mission. Um, and I want to go next. Can I, can I just say one thing, Jed? Can you put up some of the custom content you've created for this? So Jed has made um, a custom mission briefing for himself and for everyone else and his own Token custom well. tokens there. I'm going to zoom on on these, much to my detriment because this may have fucked up the last video. <laughs> um, probably fuck up this one too. Um, and then he has, he, he's, uh, what are they, Gene Steelers there? Gene Steelers, yeah. That's dedication right there. <laughs> Crab battle. Crab people. Okay, Alan, we went to Alan on structure. What did you think of the structure? Structure of a level, like the the mission itself. Yeah. Again, it just goes to layer now. I think it's really good. Like we started well with deployment. You had a huge force up against us. Uh I don't know if we got this in the last video, so I'll just mention it again. Apparently there was two hundred points left on the board 
after we were done, that's a huge amount. You know, there was plenty of points there for us to, to really capitalise on. Obviously, we didn't do it. But Jed got the win. With all these guys, these are all my uh, all my fixed threes. Two, 200 points, I believe. But that, that is a good sign. Like, Jed got the win. But yeah, we're so happy about how it went. So that's a good fucking mission, isn't it? Though? Yeah. Ah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sry go on. Uh, only for one card. We're, we're going to move on to Cully in a minute. I, I Cully think, would have won. I think I got, well, well, I got the ball. least trend. I got the least amount of points from alien kills. Yeah. But because I lost the least amount of points from uh, marine losses, and I got the primary marine token, I think I ended up on top of basically the Eldar and marine players. I ended up on top score there tonight, which is shocking for me, considering I had lost pretty much my entire squad two turns, two ro- two turns into the game. <coughs> Shit, rolls like when you're rolling that, but then. Uh... Yeah, we, we will get to that about um, how we feel about the whole... Uh, Jesus, I would say Orange Jesus is with Jed. <laughs> but, but, but I think we need a mission structure opinion okay. from Cully now. Okay, Cully. No, the structure was very good. The, the problem I had with the early ones was, for the entire missions, it felt like we were all crabbed up on top of it. And I didn't really get that from this one, even though we all had like extra dudes. We were a lot more spread out and... We could like, you know, move it out kind of, oh, shit. Part of the reason I looked at the deployment issues and brought in the new deployment, I said, look, this is something I wanted to try and see how it went for mm. people. Look, it's something the I wanted choice, to try. The choice was with us. It wasn't, it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't restricted to how the game is played. Like yeah. it wasn't, right, well, we have to, to move at this point because we're next in line. Yeah. And we have to move all of our units, which restricts then the person who follows us. <laughs> Basically, the, point, the, uh, the way we deployed allowed us uh, a chance to really place our units where we wanted to and set our, set ourselves up for how we wanted to move without restricting everybody else on the board. Yeah. It worked a hell of a lot better. Well, we also had that kind of paranoia that we something was going to happen, so we should keep a couple of dudes back at... Something to yeah, happen. but yeah, that was <laughs> fucking Eddie. Yeah. 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 You know, with yeah. the message you were saying as well. But uh, I think Eddie added to it. Jen normally like, tries to create kind of like a... And, yeah, yeah, a bit of paranoia between everyone, but Eddie, Eddie added to it by being there to <coughs> just conspire with him and yeah. well, saying things. Something did happen because you know, because you know yeah. did not listen to anybody. Yeah, yeah. Maybe to the mission. I was kind of thinking they might be trying to play us, but at the same time, yeah, he was. Sh- it looked like he was shaken with like you know anticipation that something was going to happen. <laughs> Maybe because he thought he had uh, some kind of ace in the hole. Rather than a mission objective or some kind of primary mission that could have changed things, um, but I was really worried, and that's why I kept it. urging people not to continue. But um, that's your um, mission structure now. You've, yeah, you've got any yeah. So uh, I suppose we should probably move on to um, how it went in general for our forces. So we'll start with myself, the Imperial fists. <laughs> yeah, I got wiped. That's. <laughs> I could say I got targeted, but I actually didn't. God, it's so hard to say that. It actually hurts me. I'm actually in pain for saying that. I, I'll try and get it. I didn't get targeted. <laughs> just, just saying. Do, okay. can, can you just get me? I didn't hear that, Carla. Can you please repeat it for the battle report? I don't know if I can repeat it. Please, please repeat it. I didn't get targeted. Jesus Christ, you're going to kill me if I have to say that again. So, Carol, the target fell off your back into the floor. So, um, <laughs> I actually, Jed didn't go after me as much as he could have because he actually let, let me away with so many things, I think. Um, but I played some horrible things. The very first movement I made that screwed everyone was me moving through the first two boards and I put my guys too close to the garret and I drew too much heat. And Jed drew a fucking, uh, he drew, drew a fucking last cannon card. It screwed me and it screwed from Garrett. Actually, it screwed Garrett pretty badly. Yeah. Um, really. Not really. No, not really. Wrong. I took one of his units. They fucked you up. You took <coughs> one of your heavy units and I took body points off you. It screwed you more than it screwed Garrett. Yeah, Let's be I fair. I felt really bad about it because it I was, got somebody else look, into it. It was bad placement. 
It was. But but was I, he knew it before. But you know what? Even Garrett Warren. But was look, like, at the same time, yourself. Jed missed out on my opinion a better option, which was to take out both of Cully's uh, heavy weapons. I, at I, that I, time. Just to comment on that one, right? I actually thought Cully was five or six heavy weapons. Because, because literally, I was down here and Cully's guys were very fair in the table. I didn't look at them properly, and that's my bad. <laughs> Honestly, I thought you had more. Garrett, Garrett fucking warned me. It was like he actually said it. Don't put that guy there. And I was like, nah, I'm sorry, but it should be okay. I mean, what are the chances? And the fucking chances were fucking high because he drew the card and he owned me. And then after that, I kind of went out to the trash I went out to the trash like twice, wasn't it? You lost three, 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 three guys. guys. I sent three guys out to trash and they all died. But they held my, it held. I held it. I actually held. So I'm happy. It held that. a huge area. I Ooh. held a huge area for everyone. And for the goals, those guys that made it, sorry, Colin, <laughs> didn't make it. Uh, for those guys who did make it, and I actually, sorry, I did suck it, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, I, I sacrificed myself trying to help people because I had fuck all, so I had stuff to sacrifice, so I, I hope I did. He's a real team player. Exactly. <laughs> I think the majority, I, I, I think I think the majority of, of us played for, the, for the team. Yeah, there was a lot, a lot better communication well, for my team. <laughs> a lot better communication. Um, at the end, the chaos for myself. <laughs> for my final thoughts, at the end, I made a few bad plays. Uh, I would not say going back to take the transfer at the end to help Cully was not. It was definitely not a bad play. I know I got wiped out, but my commander placing it there. I took out an android and then I put him in fire for another android. That was a very bad play because he only had three body points left. And. Um, this is the thing. When you've only got player. three, when you've only got the uh, three body points left, that's really important, right? You really yeah. need to to be careful with how you place your commander. I was in a very similar position, Carl. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. I had three body points left. You do have the fucking uh, force of generator, though. But uh, my my commander is all melee. He doesn't do yeah, ranged. Yeah. I'm not like that force field is grand if people are taking pot shots at me. But there was a gene stealer on the board at the time. I had to make a decision. I could go for the gene stealer and do two red, two white against. Two red. There you go. I was rolling shit all night. Absolute crap. I made a decision to run into the newly opened area and stop Jed from advancing with his two squads of Chaos Marines. At that point, that was that was basically the decision I had. It was go against this gene stealer, Malie, or head down here. And stop in advance. That would cut us all off from our our uh, docking claws and our portals. Right? They were my two options. Which one would you go for? He, he literally saved that whole passage down by run to leave. Yeah. And he, oh, my, and his heavy weapon. Well, look we, out we, a we'll, huge we'll get to that though. We, we, yeah. But my final thoughts are: my biggest mistake was actually placing my commander. Uh, Okay, I'm not gonna kind of stab a Garrett here. He did recommend I might play it that move and actually go and move and fire. And he put it to me, and I was like, I don't think so. And he was like, maybe, maybe I think you should do that. And I was like, no, I don't think so. And he was like, oh, well, maybe you shouldn't. And then I went, oh yeah, actually I will. So he actually thought it would be good idea that he changed his mind. And when he changed his mind, I made up my mind to do it. And that's what fucked me when my commander was dead. But that's that it. You have to be, like, as I say, yeah, when you've only got the three body points left, you have to be fucking careful. Yeah, yeah. You really do. And I you actually didn't was even, trying to be careful. I don't even think, you didn't even have three body points left. You had only two body points left. No, I think I had three body points left and he got two. He, uh, Jed got a four. No, you, you, had, you rolled a four, you had two I, body I points left. I just took a body point off in the previous that yeah. as well. That was, that was what okay, I was so, so so next, um, I think we should go with um, Monk, then we go Jed, Cully has to be last, because I actually, awesome, I love to hear Cully's thoughts. Your thoughts on how your gameplay went and how you felt it went? Yeah, look, look, to be honest, I lost a lot of units at the start. Um, <laughs> bad dice rolls. Bad fucking terrible dice rolls. Yeah, all, all game, I have to admit, you had a lot of bad dice rolls today. Oh, look, it... That, <laughs> What summed it up for me, like, look, beyond losing four bolters in the first two turns. That was harsh, actually. Yeah. Um, beyond that, the fact that I, I burned photon grenades and a melted bomb <laughs> with my commander. Against a dreadnought. Against a dreadnought. 
and we tied. I didn't even take a body point off him. I didn't take yeah. a weapon. We tied. That was actually kind like, of harsh. Like, on grenades, he rolled one less. Melt the bomb, I two rolled two extra white red dice. Right, it does oh, So you know, right, this is what Monk rolled it, right? Was that right? Four red, two white. Two white, and I rolled with this. And we tied. <laughs> on one. Fucking one of these. One of these, yeah. I roll a one. And I roll a one. Yeah, that was kind of harsh, actually, yeah. yeah. Like, that summed up my role <coughs> tonight, really. <laughs> to be quite honest. But look, at the end of the day, even though, I, as I said, I lost my whole squad, bar my commander, I came out on top points-wise between all the Marine players and LR. I can't really complain. Like, from, from that kind of... Like, as, as I, 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 I generally don't get annoyed if, uh, if I'm losing. I just changed my game plan up a bit. Mm. I lost early on, and I became even more reckless, I think. <laughs> Which, I don't know, well, look, I didn't become more reckless. To be fair, I saved my commander. I kind of retreated. I had a feeling from the start, the way the mission, the way the mission uh, objectives are read out at the start, and how Jed was emphasising defence every, every turn. Mm-hmm. I really had a, a feeling that retreat was going to be either secondary or primary mission token. Yeah, I had you were that, right for that call. I, yeah. I had that in mind. So, uh, yeah, basically that's the way I played. So I took my commander back into a position where I knew I'd be first off the board with him. But I played to get enough points mm-hmm. so that if I lost all my other units, at least I wouldn't go down the rank. You know, I'd get my, my base amount of points to, to, to keep even. Look, I ended up at 92. Hell of a lot more than 11, you know? Yeah. But that was that was pure luck. You're, well, you know, you're you're in line for, like, I think you would definitely be in line for player of the year at this stage. Like, you've oh, played yeah. so well at this point that uh, I'd, I'd it's going if, towards that. If there, was, if there was trophies made, I think I'd accept one, you know? I, I think there <laughs> might be. <laughs> it's it's getting to that, you know? I'm off 80 of the year. <laughs> alien yeah. of the year yeah, yeah I think yeah. you're the only alien so you definitely have so that far one this year, yeah. I, know, yeah. I think, I think for creativity I, I think I'm getting that award too but definitely well uh, well, this mission was awesome but, you know come on yeah. we, we do need we do have a learner curve and uh, you know I don't think we can say every mission was like perfect I think no, you I definitely think if you could go back and change certain things you probably no, would I probably would but look yeah. you, you can't do that unless we test out things anyway. no I'm not saying that like this is the first time we ever made a mission First time we ever made it. This is pretty much the beta test. It is, yeah. You know, and, and in fact, actually, I should probably announce it now, but Garrett is intending to make a mission next. Uh, it's either we do that next or we go back to the usual campaigns. But I do love the usual campaigns because of how how awesome they are. About, it's about people winning and betrayals happen, all that kind of stuff. When you come to custom stuff, yeah, yeah Betrayal of Hope has a smirk. <laughs> um when it comes to actual um missions i think the normal campaign is awesome for like dramatic kind of videos it, it just works much better and you know um but yeah so uh that's your overall thoughts uh, yeah look i love i love the, these uh these personal campaigns that popped up look we've been playing basically so oh, yeah. many years he, stage yeah, he needed thoughts to. on his overall performance on the mission um, i would say i talked well see you Got 200 points. Um, yeah, overall, fuck you. Um, that went alright. Uh, didn't go as I thought it would go. Um, GC looked good at the start and then did a little bit of damage, mostly to Monk, and then got wiped out. Um, if I, what, yeah. I mean, like, the Jesus got out. Like, are you saying you expected them to get out earlier? No, I, I, you didn't I, think it I, went. I, I thought it'd, it'd be a while, and I thought you said more guys there. And oh, okay. He got it early, but then he didn't kill as many as I thought he would when he got out. So that's how things go. My army didn't move up. I suppose good because Genesis were gone. He's, he's actually got your defenses up a lot quicker than I was expecting. So kind of where he's placed the tranche, I kind of left half my army couldn't move, and so I was trying to guide them through a little corridor, which wasn't really mm. working for a while. Uh, when the mission event happened then kind of opened the map up a bit everything was kind of even keel then I thought you said you were in a really good position I thought you were 
prepared to run off the board and then the dreadnought got switched with a gene stealer and the whole game changed up. That's when the game really did change. I do feel a little bit bad for, for Cully, I will say that. Uh, look, the reason I feel bad for Cully is, I didn't think of it when I was designing the campaign, but at the same time, it was the best move for the alien player. Um, uh, yeah. Well, look, the card, how could you take into account the fact that that card would be drawn? You'd have to go through every single card in both decks. Mm-hmm. And decide how they affected your campaign. So that mm-hmm. is not, you know, you did slip up there. No, I, I didn't do it in the um, And And um, no, in hindsight, it's, it's something that we can look at again and maybe change up. If we're bringing that in. Um, I actually thought the game flowed really well. And I, as far as I could see, I thought people were enjoying themselves. It was very even keel. And once you had your defensive line set up, everything was fine until it just crumbled. We got unlucky. On a few moves, and um, Cully got very unlucky because I actually thought he was going to win the campaign at one stage. And um, everyone was doing really well. Um, Garrett done quite well. He just got unlucky when the gene still got swapped with the dreadnought. He lost a few guys. It was it was tough, tough start. And um, come back from that, it's hard, you know, the game. And um, Monk, apologize your guys. You lost a lot of guys to start, but you played clever. You fought clever after that. Carl actually done quite well defensively until you put your commander out in the open. I yeah, that was a big mistake for me, as I mentioned earlier. Um, and also, I actually sacrificed a few people to protect others. You did. You, you actually, I would say, you sacrificed the most of everybody. Yeah, but I always do because I have yeah. to the least to lose. I think it's best for me yeah. so, to some, sacrifice some people, the yeah. And um, some people look, were looking for other people to defend them and stuff, but that's. I think Cully, I'd like to get your opinion on how your game went tonight, how you felt it went. We'll come to the, the <coughs> major issue we know you have. Just we'll take the overall view first. Well, I don't think it did go great. It was, you know, it was I was moving up and down the board. I was doing kind of like hit and run attacks and the, the kind of squat aggression. Quite, quite, quite annoying, annoying yes, you were killing my guys and running away. <laughs> yes, I, I did enjoy that. Yeah. You know, I, I tried a couple of fancy things with the rock and Hunter guys, and uh, they worked. They, they, they did work. Yeah, they took out a dreadnought, and uh, I was quite pleased with that. And, and uh, then we got to the end of the game, and it was getting to the time where we all had to retreat. And then all of a sudden, my exit point was on the uh, other side of the fucking map, behind seven dreadnoughts, was it? Or was that my really five? Oh, only five. I'm sorry, it's only <laughs> five dreadnoughts. Okay, what? This card here, just for people to know, it's Warp Storm. It means his exit point, this thing here, gets moved wherever Chaos player wants to place it. Okay. I placed it behind my army. <laughs> yes. And the problem I had is that that was basically an instant game over for me. I don't think there was anything <coughs> I could have done to fight back against no, that. No, I don't think so either, actually. He, he got close. Look, the, the mission level was never designed I, I look, that. My, my opinion is, and this is controversial on Cully, me and Cully have been arguing about it for a little while. <laughs> if it had happened in the first five turns of the game, it would have changed our whole outlook on the mission. We would have really been fighting to get to the end of the, the corridor. I think that could have helped Cully get out. If it had been pulled, literally one turn after it had been pulled, Cully could have been off the map. It was literally pulled on the exact turn before we were allowed <coughs> to exit. Hmm. Cully would have won the mission if that card was pulled one turn later. Yeah. Well, he would have won the mission. Yeah. And I know, and I know, and I know it was such a horrible fucking thing to happen. And look, I disagree <laughs> with it, and I think we can really work to get it fixed in the future. I think we, we, we can fucking brainstorm on ideas, and I think maybe we can do a whole... The, if Chaos Storm is played, it can't be placed where there's any alien miniatures or where any alien miniature uh, reinforcement tokens can be placed. I think that's a really good idea. I don't know how everybody else feels about it, but it's something we can discuss. Look, I understand how you feel about it, but all I'm saying is, if that hadn't been pulled at any other stage in the game, it wouldn't have been as fucking horrid as it was. I don't think so. I think that even if right for the start of the game, he, he the exit point right. was right at the end, behind that massive army and all those dreadnoughts, there was nothing even our combined forces could do against it. We just didn't have the firepower. Yeah, look, look how many dreadnoughts. 
and a few heavy weapons and three if it wasn't one, feet, love. Okay, but even if you take that, right? Sixty percent of the game potentially could have been a good time for that card to be pulled. Because it was only after we had to retreat. If that card had been pulled any time and those 30, 30 elder cards? Yeah. Right. And it was pulled on turn ten. How many, how many times before we could escape? Ten. And it was pulled Three. on. Three. It was, sorry, it was on, on the 11th turn. It was, it was pulled on the 12th turn. No, 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 Jay. What? what was the on the 10th turn? turn, we got the extra one. On the 11th, that we played. On the 11th um, turn, he could move it. Yeah. On the 12th turn, was we were able to exit. The exit. And so it was, it was after the 12th turn. Yeah, 13th, yeah. Was it, are you sure it was 13th? I thought it was yeah, because I was well was gone before then, so yeah. yeah. He's still talking like. If it's, I had a 50, <laughs> it's roughly a 50 50 chance that the Eldar just loses outright. And that's bollocks. <laughs> From that, okay, if, okay. If it was okay. pulled at the start, I wouldn't move it. But the Eldar are. The Eldar are overpowered. <laughs> okay. Well, or, 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 they they or in Jesus is or in Jesus. Hell, I've suffered yes, from that for a long time. He yeah. is our Lord and Savior. <laughs> He isn't a safer, he's a prick. He fucked me over. <laughs> <laughs> but there could be a 50 50 chance to just lose outright. Sometimes random numbers fuck with you. They'll cost your points, but they won't put you in a position where it's literally impossible for you to win, no matter how good you play. If you think and about that's it. That's the problem I have with it. it just, yeah. Well, if that card had to be pulled. There would have been nothing I could have done regardless of when it was played. If Even that card had been played from the, from the start, if that card had been played from the start, like how how hard would it have been for all of us to make it there to get Cully his exit? All right, but you've also got to take Jed's mentality into it. If that card had been pulled at the start, where would Jed have put that card? Like, where would he have put the portal? He might have went. He should have known. Fuck it. And just went. I think he would have thought. Maybe. 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 I would. Like, be honest, if that was drawn any other time, I probably would have removed it somewhere silly, right? <laughs> All right? Not to bring it into that, right? It's only because I knew it was the very end. <laughs> Cully had it won. I went, fuck it. I might as well place it behind my army. And that's the only thought process that went into that, right? Right. Yes, but it's still, it was... And look, I totally agree with you, and I think we can fix it in the future. Yes. I really do think But it's still it. just a card that Kulishka goes, oh, it is. <coughs> Too bad. But it, it, it helps with the well, overpowered Ella, okay? Yes. <laughs> I got wiped out. That's so, the good. definition of losing. We're all in agreement, right? That so, um, the Eldar overpowered. Yeah. Basically, Cully has taken the position I that I took last mission where I was fucking ranting. <laughs> no, but it is a their rant. It fucking is. That was an awful card to be played, but yeah. it's that card is the worst card in the Elder deck. But I think everyone keeps saying to me the Elder is overpowered. And but they, they are, but they have so many other things yeah, that can fuck them up. The I'm sick and tired of people saying the Elder are overpowered, but there was, are so many things that, that can was, fuck them up. That was an Elder fucking mission right there. Tonight. Yeah. That was for the taking for an LR player. The mobility, the running around, super crack fucking missiles, vortex fucking grenades, all that shit. Right? If. If. <laughs> orange Jesus. If Orange Jesus was on Cully's side, that would have been like 300 fucking plus points. Like, yeah. honestly, that's the way it could have went. And in terms of that, if you've got one card. But it should in be a second so 30 polarizing. It should be just fuck shit up. It should be just a coin flip. That's what it ended yeah. up being. It's like heads, Cully runs away with it. Tails, Cully loses and gets wiped <laughs> out. And it's just useless. Well, it's not a 50, 50 like, like I mean. Yeah, well, there's a one in, <laughs> there's a one in How many chance. cards are there in the other? There's a one in the first turn that can be pulled. There's one in 29 chance. Can yeah. Be the second like, you know what I mean? It's, I know. And it ends up being. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna get pulled one but way or the other. I yeah. used to complain. You guys used to say to me, "The elder are OP," and I say, "There are so many uh, other things." You cheated as elder. That's me. There are so <laughs> many other things yes, that can go against elder. You should be backing me up here because now you know. <laughs> so many other things that can actually go against elder that screw them over. And that fucking warp storm is the worst of them. It can screw over no, every game. fucking mission. It can in screw over anything. Game, it can never be more than two boards away yeah okay. and there can never be like fucking 20 dreadnoughts in the way 
okay. That's not going to happen. But yeah, okay, okay, okay. But still, only fine. there's other things as well. But the, the, the like, it's a nutty as... carb normally, but there it was just a case of like, you need to run. Yeah, it was, it was, it was kind of harsh. Uh, <laughs> look, look. <laughs> right, I'm coming. But even on that, right, look, in Ella, Ella have overpowering skills to look and they have abilities. And, and Cully really manipulated all their skills to the best of their ability. And he nearly got it, okay? He, honestly, I've never seen someone run through an army like he has, right? That was fucking awesome. It was awesome. That video was fucking epic. Right. right. And well, it, I hope somebody has that on camera. Do we have we one? We have one camera. Cool. Um, fuck, where all our memory went to the camera. <laughs> oh, no. Um, anyway, it was, um, it was it was an epic way to finish off the mission. The mission was. Was, was fun, I have to admit. I, I, yeah, I really yeah, enjoyed awesome. the mission. Hella fun. Um, it was, from a, the signing point of view, it worked... Because I, I, I knew if stuff was going to happen in it. Um, I know I, I threw in these cards and didn't ex- certain things didn't explain it. Like I threw in the... Um, where are they there now? Um, the torn cards. Oh, yeah. You had the... Um, I, I threw them in and... You threw them somewhere. I put, I put them away somewhere. Basically, right? you had cards for each. Card. And I didn't really explain to the lads. The torn but the torn cards are... And the boys were all expecting something to happen every turn. I did give you a hint in the, the commander kept warnings to say safe and defend your area and stuff. I yeah. said it. I fucking said it earlier on, and certain people won't listen to me. And what's <laughs> that's honest. But at the same time, when, when the mission the monk, anyway, the mission the mission happened, <laughs> the event happened that more guys came on the board. He's actually dealt with quite well, and down mainly down to monk blocking off that area. I wouldn't call deal with. I I actually think we ran away. Yeah. That's the way I see it because, like, I got wiped out, Cully got wiped out, Garrett, he didn't do it much better. Monk was, uh, Monk and Garrett were probably on the same level. I, I think, think we could have done a better job of uh, maybe doing a strategic retreat, retreat yeah. you know? Yeah. Let's be fair, and we knew a retreat was coming. Yeah. yeah. I loved it though. I did love the, the mission. It was awesome. Um, it's a pity that they take so long. I mean, otherwise, what are they Ah, no. I'm enjoying the long missions. Are you? I really am. It, it, that's, uh, that's good. I, it, I just love... Man. I do love the short campaign missions, to be honest. Yeah. I do. You get through um, a lot in the short campaign, you know. You do, yeah. Even the short ones, Carl. When we've got five people playing, they're not fucking short. No. Yeah. There's a lot of people in it, and there's a lot of movement. Some people may need to quick up in some of the turns. We can work on that with people, like... And just be aware of what's going on around them as well. Like that might help the missions to go a bit quicker. Mm-hmm. Uh, <coughs> going forward, I don't think there's any mission that's going to have as much in it. Maybe the final mission, if I can't fully remember. Um, there's a lot in that mission, but that's because it's the final mission. Um, so, so I think we can finish up that very enjoyable mission, I think, from everybody's point of yeah, view. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. Um, I uh, definitely... Love that mission. Uh, I think that was the best space of shade night I've had since the fall of the planet campaign. That's my overall thought. Yeah. Hope I have conveyed that from my earlier <laughs> from my earlier well, speech. That, that, as a was Alien fun, player, it was my most fun I had. Well, that's, um, even, that's even better. Fun, and I really enjoyed how the game felt. And hey, you all played it, and I thought you could yeah. quite well. You were just really at the end. It was just dice rolls, dice rolls, yeah. and a few card drawers. That's all the change it up. If they'd happened earlier in the game, different game altogether. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Love so, it. Awesome design. Awesome mission. It's going to go down in history and there's some awesome videos that came from it. So and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna tie it off there. Yeah, yeah we're going to finish gonna, off. Thank, off. Thanks for listening to our battle report. And uh, this is the battle report for... Uh, and just for Carl, because he lost the mission and lost his squad. Thanks for playing Space Crusade. Yeah, yeah. Carl. Thanks Carl. Thanks yeah, for thanks, playing yeah. Space yeah, Crusade. Yeah, thank you. But um, this is the battle report for um, Space Crusade Fall of Planet Campaign Mission 4. Thank you very much and good night. <laughs>